some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Connecticut with a sovereign citizen who would much rather look after himself than his own child. And he claims he's not a citizen of the United States, but he still wants all the rights and privileges of the United States. I mean, make up your mind. You're either a citizen or you're not a citizen. I mean, you can't have your cake and eat it too, dude. So now, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to throw anything at your computer. Because this guy is really going to piss you off when it comes to this child. Oh, by the way, I would like to thank uh, Takedown Exposing Frauditors for providing me with the link to this video because I felt it the need to uh, spread this around as much as it could be because this idiot needs to be taken down a few pegs. Do I have your name and badge number, please? Yeah, Officer Colcus, 91. Thank you. You, Robinson sir? 84. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing, Ted? Hey, What's going on? I just want to make contact with the, with the kid. Why are you so right? me, sir? Just relax, relax, relax. I am relaxed. Okay. All right, you got any weapons on you or anything like that? No, I come in peace. I have no weapons. Perfect. You come in peace, too. Though. You know me, Sergeant Flynn. What's up? How you doing, man? How you doing, sir? Good. All right, DCF's here? My son's not here. Okay. He's with his mother. All right, which is where? I have no idea. We broke up weeks ago. Okay. What's her name? Uh, Melissa. I'm going to go to my fifth. I, I don't answer any questions. Dude, your Fifth Amendment is generally reserved when you're being arrested. You have the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself, dude. But in this case, it is your child that is the concern. And if you are not man enough to express some concern for your child, well then, it would be perfectly understandable as to why your children were taken from you originally because of your lack of concern for their well-being, you monster. Okay. You're not in my 11th. Okay. Dude, I don't think the 11th Amendment really applies in your case. I mean, go do your research properly and figure this crap out on your own. I mean, I mean, just don't spout off random amendments and hope they'll stick to the wall like spaghetti. You're not. I'm not under, subject to your foreign law. You're not I'm under arrest. My you're foreign... free to leave. So. I know I am. I did nothing wrong. Okay. Cool. Okay, you consider them a foreign law, but you want to uh, uh, invoke the rights and pri privileges of the United States Constitution on your behalf? Uh, sorry, no, it doesn't work that way. You can't pick and choose laws that you want to obey. No, uh, that gets a lot of people in trouble and put into prison. Hey, we're on my son's not here. Okay. He's not in any harm. Okay. I feel threatened you know, for what? That's a violation of my fourth right, uh, amendment right. Can we take a look for my constitutional right protection. Okay, you little soft heart. Uh, the fourth amendment covers unreasonable searches and seizures and even mentions warrants in there. And the judge issued a warrant for a search of your house for the child. So you have no standing in this argument, you douchebag. Would you want to do that? Yes. Dishonor your oath of office? Yes. You would? Yes. You would? Yes. For what? You think I'm lying to you? No. Look, do not take me, a man, as my word? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm a man as my word. DCF has an emergency order to take the baby into custody. Okay, okay. good okay. for them. In the state of Connecticut. An order? Is that so, a warrant to take my, to seize my It's a property? signed by Judge Hoffman. Okay, so yeah, the same, these, these the same judge that took my... Are going to go take a look at they're the They're going to illegally okay. search in, well, in my house without a warrant. That's debatable. Oh, okay. But, okay. Okay. Well, I don't consent to any unlawful okay. searches or seizures. Okay. Well, dude, in this case, uh, there is no consent needed because a judge did issue a warrant, a search warrant, to search your property for only the child. And therefore, only the child shall be seized if the child is found. No, nothing else will be taken, you douchebag, because that's on the warrant. I'm gonna go in my house. No, no, we're gonna have. I'm just gonna have you stay out here. For okay? what? 
So you're, you're denying me access to my property? Right now I am. There's, oh, okay. exi there's okay. exigency there Okay. with the order in place. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I have nothing to hide anyway. So we're just going to do a know. search, all right? Okay, violating my constitutional protections as an American state national. We're not looking for anything okay. else. Okay, as a man on the land and soil, come in peace to cause nobody any harm, haven't caused anyone loss, injury, or harm. This is unlawful. Unfortunately, DCF... DCS has, has no authority. And they have I, I'm not a municipal or territorial citizen. Uh, My son is not either. Yep. You live in the United States, right? You live in the state of Connecticut, right? Therefore, you are a United States citizen living within the state of Connecticut. You live in a municipality. You live within a country. You live right around a town. So... You are under their jurisdiction, you moron. When you live in a country, you cannot just say that you are not going to abide by the laws of that country. It doesn't work that way. Whenever you go to another country, you should really tell them that. In fact, I dare you to do that. Yep. Roger. You're enforcing code statutes and bullshit. Well now, you paint chip eating soft tart, I know you're going to uh, dive right into Black's Law Dictionary here in a minute because I've already seen this video and I know what to expect. In fact, you just pretty much implied that uh, statutes are not laws. In fact, well, let me take you into Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. Here's the definition for statutes right here. And guess what? It is considered to be a set of laws, you bloody moron. Laws passed by the government. So get that through your thick skull. I'm not, I'm not an employee Listen, of the state. We just state. want to make sure the baby's okay. If the baby's okay, we're well, out of here. I give you no permission. You unlawfully searched my house without a warrant. So, yeah, go ahead. Detective Bonkowski. Can you have a uh, DCF come up to the front with me, please? You guys mind kind of coming up here? All right. Okay. Uh, I know you guys know each other, Mr. Dorsey. Hi, Ted. So I just explained to him why we're looking through the house. We're not searching for anything other than the baby to check on her welfare. There's exigent circumstances based on the uh, order of temporary custody. Order of temporary custody that you guys have. Um, so he's saying that the baby's not here. Where's the baby? No, I'm invoking my fifth. I'm not he answering any questions. He said the baby's with the mother and that they broke up two weeks ago. Is what he told me. Okay. So Ted, we do have an order of temporary custody for the baby. I do want you to understand what I'm saying. I don't understand, dog, or anything you're saying. So what I'm saying is that the State of Connecticut Department of Children and Families filed an order of temporary custody on April 27th, which means that we now have custody of the child. So I'm asking you if you know where the baby is. I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment constitutional protection. I'm not answering any questions at this time. So just so you know, we do have custody of the child. That means you or your girlfriend no hey, longer have custody of the baby. We just need the baby. Right, exactly. Does it look like anybody's here no hey tell you what i appreciate your cooperation i really Tom wasn't cooperating you guys just well, unlawfully you know, you, you went into outside, my property talk to us and that's all we're asking no for. no no must be the open door doctor and the baby's not here Received. i still need the package book are you not here okay i'm I don't have any weapons. I come in peace. No, and I you know me. That. Yes. I'm like, a man of my word. You've always been good with me, to be honest with you. So why are you treating me like this? I'm not treating sure. you. You are. We're here. You're not respecting my rights. We're here to assist And my DCF. protections. And when they talk Who about... Who are they? They have no authority over oh, me or my I, my son. You may think so. I think they have I know they. No, they don't. When DCF don't. is involved and asks us Judge to Hoffman abducted, seized, and transported my two kids across baby, state lines. Gonna... Gee, I wonder why. I mean, at this point, all I'm seeing is a lack of concern for your child because apparently the mother has been gone 
with the child for at least a couple of weeks and you're not uh, out there actively searching? What is wrong with you, man? Why aren't you out there looking for the child? Oh, wait, you probably didn't want the child anyway, and so that's why you're doing all this. Am I correct? Because that's that that seems to be the way it is right now. Um, Defaulted me at court, refused so to let me in because of a mask. The There's no baby in there? There's no baby in there. Um, they're checking the kind of the rear of the property. Go ahead, check the check wherever. There's no one here. Are you... Are you going to assist them in locating the child? I, I, I'm, I, I'm invoking my fifth. I'm not, that's your job. I'm not insisting anybody in an investigation. That's not my duty. Okay. I have no duties and obligation to assist anybody in anything. Fair I'm enough. just a man. I'm on my business. Yep. That's good? the basement. You want to go check the basement? Is go ahead. Basement? Yeah, go you check it. Check whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, you guys are going to anyways. You just walked in my <laughs> My home, a man's gave, home, should be safe and secure, the and my paper's in effect. You're violating my Sixth Amendment to be safe and secure. Dude, your Sixth Amendment in this case has not been violated because there is no trial going on. For a man who claims to be well-educated, you certainly are a total moron the law of the land that's the supremacy clause yeah. <laughs> you guys don't care about that huh how about the 11th i'm not subject to your foreign law what do you think about that dude you live in the united states you live in connecticut therefore you are subject to the laws of the united states and the laws of connecticut get over yourself dude besides if you're not subject to those laws then what laws are you subject to? Oh, wait, you're a sovereign citizen. You don't believe in living by any laws at, so, at all. You're more of an anarchist than anything else. And that's the way you want to be. You want to live in complete anarchy until someone really gets hurt, and then you just don't know what to do about it because the laws that uh, govern that kind of stuff don't really apply to you, do they? <laughs> You don't care about that either, huh? Didn't you take an oath to uphold the Constitution, sir? Yeah. So how come you're not upholding it? Well, when there is... You just walked all over it. When there is exigency in place... There's, there's no warrant in place to go search and it's an exception, seize anything. It's an exception it's to not the an exception. Yes, there is. No, there's not. Yes, yes it is. And, and where do you guys get this authority from? The state judge. The judge. The state of Connecticut. I mean, who grants her authority? The state of Connecticut. Congress? State of Connecticut? I'm not a part of the state of Connecticut. You live in the state of Connecticut. No, I don't. I'm on Connecticut. You're on the state of Connecticut property. No, I'm not on the state of Connecticut property. When? That's a de facto government. When? <laughs> That's the squirrels and the birds. <laughs> they like to eat bread. Nice piece of property up there. Yeah, it is, huh? I like to enjoy it, take care of it, maintain it. Find anything good? Some, some, some cobwebs. Yeah, I know. I just gotta dust it up. Grab that 50. I want officer 215. I can close it up. You don't need to worry about that. Hey, are you working? No worries. Alright, so can you check um, the, the sister's address again? Mom's not here, the baby's not here. Um, we did. Why do you think she was in pocket tucks? I mean, this is ridiculous. One. All right, thank you. I'm going to head down there, too. Sherry Ann Cole. That's my mother's car. <laughs> All these cars are my mother's car. I own nothing. Yeah, I'm going to head down there in a few. Um, yeah, I'll head down there in a few. Just, just like I said, I'm, I, I'm not answering any questions. And then, no disrespect to you, I really like oh, you guys, oh. but I'm not insisting these yeah. scumbags and their and their little uh, fucking okay, abduction of children or Whatever. offspring, and <laughs> it's ridiculous. Projection, much, dude? Because I've heard more concern for the well-being of that child coming out of the uh, mouths of these officers and that other uh, DCF officer more out of them then i have heard out of your mouth which is to say none at all 
which begs, which makes me wonder, do you even care to know where the whereabouts of that child to begin with? Or are you happy that you don't have another mouth to feed? I'm sure that's my, what must be what it is. You're happy that the mother f ran away. Maybe she realized how much of a scumbag you are and decided to move elsewhere and protect that child. At least that's what I hope is going on here. I mean, I could be wrong, but that may be the case here. At any rate, guys, I am done watching this idiot talk. I am done wa with it. So I trust you guys didn't destroy the computer that you're watching this on or TV or whatever. And I will see you on the next one.